The sliding collar choke is a gi specific choke that uses the collar. Unlike the rear naked choke, you obviously can't use it in both no gi and gi grappling, but it's still a foundational technique that's really high percentage, very safe, and still works at all levels. So let's get into the sliding collar choke. So I have my back control. I have my hooks in, I have my overhook and my underhook. My overhook is the one that's gonna do the choking. For most every choke, you have a choking hand and a hand that sets the choke. There are of course one-handed chokes, but for the two-handed chokes, that's what we're gonna do. The underhooking hand is gonna get the far side lapel. We'll get there in a second. So when I'm ready, I'm gonna open and fold this lapel. And I wanna take my right hand, which is my overhook hand, and get it right next to, to my partner's neck. It kind of follows the contour of this rope. Now I'm gonna bring the lapel to my hand by pulling it and making it tight. For this choke, we want this grip as tight, or we want the, uh, this grip as tight as possible. We want it to be very tight to the neck. For other chokes like the bow and arrow choke, you may want it a little bit looser. We'll go into that later. But it's always easier to go from tight to loose than the other way around. So try and get a tight grip at first. So this will be the hand that chokes it. But if I just try to pull the choke, there's nothing that holds it in place. Dave's gi is going to move. So my other hand is going to go to the far side of the lapel, and I just do a static pull downward toward his hip bone just to hold it in place. Now already the choke is starting to come on. But what we're gonna do is my right elbow here, that you can see, is in front of Dave's shoulder. I'm gonna take that elbow and try to pull it behind Dave's shoulder while my body angles off, looking toward my right. And that's what winds the choke. Without the grips, it looks like this. So this hand winds the choke and my body helps. One common mistake that guys make is that they look instead of moving their body. Remember, your spine is gonna go where your head goes, and so, in, I want you to pretend that you've had spinal fusion surgery and you can only look to the right by moving your body to the right. So one more time, we have our overhooking hand and we have our underhooking hand. We're gonna take the underhooking hand and open and fold the gi. This hand, I want you to have the back of your thumb against your partner's neck and then bring the lapel, feed it to your hand. The other hand comes to the far side of the lapel and just gently pulls down. All this hand is gonna do is just gently pull with maybe 10% down, just stop the gi from from slipping. We're going to pull our right elbow behind the shoulder as our entire body angles off at about 15 degrees toward the right, winding the choke. And my partner taps. There are many reasons we go for the sliding collar choke. We can go for it on its own just because the collar is available. We can go for it when our partner defends the rear naked choke and we can't get our hand all the way around. Or we can go for it if we're not as confident in the bow and arrow choke, which is another option from this position. Either way, the sliding color choke is a choke that everybody should get good at. It's fundamental and it really works.